morning, it's Sunday and it's nearly 9am and shortly we're going down to have our hotel breakfast. We've got a day of being given a guided tour today, well not a whole day, but this morning aren't we at 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We've been taken in a little mini bus for a tour of the island, so that's super exciting. We might go on a tram later, I don't know. We're going to see how much we see of the island and if there's any bits left we might take a tram trip to see it, but I don't know. Anyway, breakfast. We've been seated at this great big seat here, so we're gonna have a nice sociable breakfast. We're a bit earlier today, so I can show you where we were sitting, because it's a little bit emptier at the moment. That's where I was sat yesterday, and look, this was the view that I had when I was eating at the sea down there, how nice. Oh, and I can show you up the other end, because there's nobody here at the moment as well. Oh look, there's the giant water wheel. We might be seeing that later today, I hope so. We've just put our orders in. I'm gonna try some kippers today. So, I'm never going to eat all these, but I'm giving it a go. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the bus, we are going on a tour, mm -hmm. and it is raining. Capital R. No, no, no. The sea's looking a bit rough this morning, isn't it? All grey. There's some great big splashing waves bashing up against the seawall there. Can you see? Yeah. It's coming, splashing up all over the pavement. Leaving there. There's a boat. Castle Arms. Oh, that, is that a castle then, I presume? We're we going over this bridge. Yes, we are. Port St. Mary, that's where we are at the moment. Thatch! Thatched! Looks like St. Fagans around it. You know, if you're from Wales, you know what I mean. Well, if you're from South Wales. Oh, yeah, the stone walls. And Look at that, that's remarkable, isn't it? It's like going back in time. Church Farm, it's called. You can see some very bedraggled, sodden sheep over there. They seem quite resigned to their fate of wetness. Look at that thatch over there, wow. Hey. This is really close to where the van is. This has been what's impressed me the most, I think, about this drive. It's kind of got like a netting over it to keep it intact and then these wooden things sticking out. There's somewhere called Craig Niche at the moment. <laughs> this rain isn't letting up, is it? But that looks quite spectacular over there, isn't it? Yeah, we've come to a bit of a... Oh, we're, I was about to say we've come to a standstill. I think we are coming to a standstill. I think maybe we're going to just step out and get a bit of air. <laughs> We're here. Thank you, Terry. Oh, it's nice to get out, even though it's absolutely raining. Looks like quite a strong, like, ripply, currenty bit right by there. I'm taking a walk down the bank just because I want to stretch my legs a bit. It, the weather is pretty unpleasant. It's not very warm. <laughs> and the rain is just not letting up today. <laughs> IB has just come down to have a look at this thing, so. Let's have a look too. Oh, how do we pronounce that then? The Tusla Cross? The Thusla Cross? To commemorate an act of heroism by men of this parish in their rescue of the crew of the French schooner or Jean St. Charles in 1858. We appear to have got some big holes. Oh, a burrow of some description. Anybody home? Be scary if like a great set of jaws came out and yawned the camera then, wouldn't it? But, uh, Oh, look at those crashing waves! Oh, I probably wouldn't go too close to the edge because I'd tumble off. Yeah, I was just thinking now, if I go into a skid on the wet grass, I might not stop till I've reached the bottom down there. Oh, I'm still intrigued by this ripply rift thing here. I don't know what's going on with the current. I'm glad I'm not in it, <laughs> that's all I can say. That's the van up there that we've just got out of. People are sort of pottering around a bit. Yeah, yeah we're all aboard. <laughs> Heading back now, aren't we? Oh, this cafe. Didn't have time to stop. The driver who's taking us on this tour has got a lot of other commitments on as well, so it's our bit of a quick one. We're in a more coastally bit again now. It's our boats. We just saw some divers in wetsuits standing on the side. There's a slipway literally whoosh down into the water. <laughs> It's gone very, very misty all of a sudden. It's a little bit past 12. We're back in the hotel room. I've just boiled the kettle, so I'm about to make two cups of tea. Ivy is desperate for a sleep. He didn't get to bed until after three. I went, I don't know, one-ish, 1.20, something like that, and then we had to get up at eight, so we haven't really had a full night's sleep. But anyway, 
I'm in mortal danger of not getting my vlog up on Tuesday, it's Sunday today, so I'm gonna do some hours of editing on that while Ivy has a sleep. And then after that, I think, instead of going to a music session, we're gonna have a little explore on foot, because we're just desperate to get out and get on foot. That tour was quite fun on the bus, but we didn't really get out much, and because it was so misty and rainy, I couldn't see very well out of the window, but I put a few clips in there for you. What I will have thought was worth using. I think I filmed a lot that I won't actually put in the vlog, because it was just naff, you know. It was like close-ups of things going past, so close you couldn't see what they were anyway, so I had a bit of trouble with that. But anyway, yeah, it was nice to get an overview of the whole island. So anyway, I shall speak to you all later when we are out and about again we're back out on foot again and i had to get the camera out to show you this hotel i think it's a hotel yes it's a hotel look at that floral display i am impressed tt22 oh very good oh wow <laughs> it's not raining yay i have got my umbrella because i'm not leaving that to fate we are going to get a tram and we're gonna go and see a very big water wheel. And you know me, geek girl, I am very excited to see a gigantic, enormous water wheel. So, let's go. I'm standing opposite the tram that's waiting to be boarded by us. It looks proper old fashioned as well. There, look, number 22. I wonder how much it's gonna cost. We'll find out now, won't we? Oh dear. IB's just heading into the booking office with the man, which is over that way. Oh, here's a tram close up. I wonder how old it is. I definitely need to find out. That's the booking office there. We're going in 10 minutes. I'm going to ask the man how old it is, but I think it's at least 100, that's my guess. You want to get on? I'm in shock. I've just seen the price of the ticket for a return. Half an hour each way, £11.80. I'm used to the Lisbon ones where they're just like functional, you know, talking to him as well at the same time. It's like 140 there for the equivalent. Right, I'm going to find out how old it is and then I'm going to get on. I asked 1899 this one was built. Right, so how do we get on? Uh, no, no, go that way. Let's see if maybe around the back. I he's gone around the back. Oh, I'm traversing the muck and mud and water. Let's get on then. Whoop. Oh, of course you get a driver's cabin at each end, don't you? Because these things don't exactly turn around <coughs> oh, imagine what it would have been like all those years ago oh <laughs> thought that was an alarm going off then i'm just gonna have a little look around ib ib's sitting sitting there he's hiding oh, oh, oh look 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 from when you turn around look that's how they did it in the olden days look the seats very clever simple but effective Lovely. Right, I'm going to sit down. The other tram's just pulled up outside and that's the horse-drawn one and I've just noticed that they've got an enclosed cabin for the rough weather and I just had that confirmed by the guard because I was just chatting to him on here. I was asking whether locals use this service and he said yes they do and I said do they have like um, a monthly card or something? He said yeah they've got, is it platinum card? So yeah, just use it, hop on and off. They're swapping the horses over actually. The driver's just got on. Oh, it did a peep peep. I was expecting a ding ding, not a peep peep. Oh, that's interesting looking. You can see the staircase is all exposed. It was built like into the cliffs and stuff. That's very interesting structurally. Look, 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 tram shed, tram shed. Oh, is there a museum? Oh. Coming over here. Whoa. Every so often we're like, the tram line is crossing over a road, coming down and I think that's when he's doing his peep peep noise. It's a rickety old thing, these windows are banging and banging. We like the noise. <laughs> Near 
nearly there, you know, at Laxey. Oh, we're going over a bridge, look. That looks very quaint, smoke coming out of the chimney. Look, this could be it. Do you think this is Laxey? Yes, it is, Laxey Tram Station. Thank you very much. Okay, hope you enjoy your trip. Oh, I did, thank you. Oh, do you want to be in my vlog? <laughs> you can't be camera shy. <laughs> we have a very scary ghost train going on here at the moment. There's a steam railway apparently. For children, oh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Say hello YouTube. <laughs> We're walking up this way and we're going to this massive water wheel which I'm yet to see. Well, 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 I got the camera out to show you. See that red thing up there? That's the water wheel. But see the steam? So I am wondering if we've just missed the steam train. I can see steam. That must be the train. It's tiny. I thought it was going to be a great big one. We're going over a bridge. Look at that water there. I hear a little pit. So this is the railway then. Oh, no, 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 it's coming. Oh. This is turning into a scary Halloween vlog. Ooh. I definitely want to see this train, so I'm just going this way. Oh, look, there's a witch driving a train. They're waving. Hello, everybody. And here comes the other one. Oh, look, it's driving a horrible green faced monster. Ooh. <laughs> oh, funny lot. <laughs> The witches and monsters are peering in at the window and scaring all the children in there. We've diverted up a little footpath now to see if we can get to this water wheel. Ta -da! There it is! Let's go over the castle grid. Okay, try not to fall in. Try not to drop the GoPro down the hole. Oh, there's a turnstile. <laughs> Presumably you have to pay to go in, but there it is, look. Well, the water wheel has a name. It's Lady Isabella and she was built in 1854. Right, thank thank you. you. Well, we're in. She still works and she was built for pumping water out of a mine. And I don't know why I'm calling it she, but it's because it's Lady Isabella. Kind of feels like a female now. <laughs> we're not sure what this is yet. I don't think it can be the water, can it? I presume the water would go underneath it. There's the bottom of it. Let's go and have a look at that. Well, it's not working at this precise moment, is it? But goodness me, how majestic it is. There's water dripping down and it's not raining, so that's interesting, isn't it? Here we go, we're going up. We're thinking now the water must come in at some other point, not yeah. the bottom. Over yeah. there. Down there. You think that? Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can see it close up. I'll come down. <laughs> no, oh, we'll oh, wait. Gosh, it's higher than you think up there. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> it's like lightning. Why are they coming down? Take two. Oh, no. It's headed down those stairs, but it doesn't. No, the water doesn't come out of there, I'd be saying. He was mistaken. The mystery remains. Ooh, watch your foot. I'd be no. just not like heights. No, I'm just wondering. I'm jumping. <laughs> Are you getting affected? <laughs> He's having a little stop off, I think, to recover the, from the terror. Funny how some people are affected by, you know, heights, and other people like me just aren't at all, not even in the slightest. As long as I know I'm safe, low beam above your head. There we are. Let's watch out for that. Duck! That is low. I think IB's claustrophobia and fear of heights is not going to enjoy that bit there. <laughs> Quite steep. Oh, he's coming. I hear him. He's resumed. God, that's making me legs ache. <sighs> oh. Oh, yeah, we can get on the platform. Here we go. I don't know why IB wanted to come up here. I mean, you know, it's fun if you're not terrified of heights. That was quite a climb. Well, the water must have come in through the bottom. I just, I'm baffled. But look, that's the top of the water wheel. So what was that viaduct thingy then? I just don't know. 
it's got some kind of plank on it. We finally found out how the water got in. So it came downhill by gravity and then it went up that big white thing, that big white thing. We were just climbing up, spiraling around. And then it went in over the top, down the wheel like that as it does, splosh down the bottom there and out. I can't remember if I've told you this already, but it was used to pump water out of the mine because obviously they flood, mines do unless you uh, take action to make sure they don't. It's just the natural way of things. I'm so hungry right now. I think I might actually expire. But anyway, we're coming under that structure. <laughs> it's not a very good shot of it, is it? I'm too hungry to function. I can't film anymore. My legs are actually shaking. My knees have been shaking. This is how hungry I am. But we're about to do a, a mine trail ib's moved out of the way now he's, he's gone around the bend i can show you where we are oh my goodness i need food i'm squirrel immo i always have food about my person but not today because i've only got my little bag oh so long since breakfast i don't even know what time it is i think we got the, got the tram at 10 past two didn't we and that was half an hour and then we walked up a steep hill to get here i need to eat little and often basically IB is the opposite. He eats like his entire body weight like once every seven hours or something. It's like a snake. Opens his jaw, dislocates his jaw, eats a whole cow, and then that keeps him going forever. What's that? I was just talking about our different uh, eating regimes. I thought I was going to faint. I never faint. All oh, right, we've gone the wrong way, have we? Oh yeah, there are hats there, yeah. We're down the bottom. We're gonna go in this little mine thingy. I'm gonna cope with the low blood sugar for a bit longer. Apparently it's only 30 yards in a dark hole. And then we're gonna go find a cafe and have some food. <laughs> I'm wearing a hard hat. And so I'm trying to film with my non-waterproof camera while drips are coming out from the ceiling. Flattering. The ceiling is quite low. Oh, my feet are gonna get wet. I'm never gonna dry them out. Uh, this is a little awkward. Oh, I should have brought wellies. Are you enjoying the uh, claustrophobic experience, Ivy? Mm, what are you doing? This is the end. Yeah. Oh. I'm go there. I'm go there. He's off. He's like, oh, I mean, no, like dark hole. It's, it's been a torture for Ivy. This whole experience, to be honest. Heights and small dark holes. We need food. Let's go get some food. Tea room, yes! This building is very quaint with the smoke coming out of the chimneys. really takes me back. We've sat down. I've gone for just a Pepsi Max, first of all. Chilled. I am so gasping thirsty after all that climbing. <laughs> I've ordered... I'm struggling to find a well-lit bit without getting IB in, he's by there. I've ordered jacket potato with cheese and garlic mushrooms and I can't wait for it to come. Oh, look at that bloody spider. It's all kitted out for Halloween. Yeah, it's coming for you, IB. It's plastic, don't panic. We got a scary skeleton there. The deco is quite funny because they've got like life-size skeletons just sort of sitting in random places and there's one in the corner there. Well, there I'll go walk down the beaches. Right, you're right, that. nice. You're yeah. right, we've had some food. Okay. I'll be alright once I've had some food. I'm all wibbly wobbly at the moment. Oh, oh my goodness, we should have so had this earlier because we've got dinner in a few hours. <laughs> oh, this is, that's exactly what I want right now. Can I film yours? Yeah. Right, I'm coming this way. Look at the size of this I know. <laughs> Oh my I know. goodness. We're out. That was absolutely delicious. I'm just mesmerised by this sheet of water. Come and turn off this water wheel they have here. There it is. I tell you no lie, that is the nicest food I've had since I've been here and I tell you what, the fish on the first night was absolutely amazing as well. Maybe it's on a par with that but oh my gosh, that was so good. But rather randomly, <laughs> they gave IB the biggest portion I have ever seen possibly in my life. She did ask him did he want to double up on the burger and he said yes thinking they'd be normal burger size but I would say the burgers were bigger than two normal burgers so he just had to abandon it you know he had as much as he could <laughs> and had to leave the rest 
which was a shame because it was delicious but there was there was a mountain of food just wandering into this bit here I presume those are to do with the trams I wonder what that was that green thing but look you see there was a brown sign with an anvil on it and I said oh, I bet it's a blacksmith or something and look at that quaint little building there We are back with 20 minutes to spare till the tram. We've just been having a walk around. I'd put the camera away because I know I filmed so much today. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, it's not raining, which is good. We're gonna put IP's coat down on the chair and share it because everywhere is wet. I'm shattered. I'm really looking forward to sit down on a nice warm tram right now. I honestly don't know what possessed me, but I had an urge for something like Skittles. So I went over to that carriage over there and just bought some and a bottle of water for us each because I think we're a bit dehydrated. And I paid with cash and look, the change. <coughs> Manx five pound note and got some Manx 50 peas as well. There's one with a ram's head on there. Look, I'm gonna give them to my daughter because she does like unusual 50 peas. Normally because she wants to sell them to be fair and I don't think she'd be able to sell these. Well, I don't know. I don't know if she can or not. She made a profit last time she did that. She's very entrepreneurial, my, my daughter. Let's see what have we got on that one. Another ram's head. Guess what's coming? It's our tram! Oh no! back in the room and we are both absolutely shattered but we're actually going out again in about an hour we're going to go to a restaurant with everybody in the music playing group that's here everybody's booked and ordered in advance but that's not to half seven i think it must be about half six by now um but anyway i'm not going to film that or anything else afterwards we're going to go play more music afterwards of course but thank you so much for watching today's video could you please give it a like if you liked it and i will see you in the next video bye